What do you think about the progress at the new poppies location? It's looking wonderful. What do you think, Hazel? What do you? Looks you haven't like seen it. <laughs> Looks like 101. The room. <laughs> Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 All right, guys. It looks just like our dining room at the Poppy's Bar and Chill. What's that? Looks just like our dining room at the hotel. Basically, yeah. Let's take a look. Spin it around. It's coming together, guys. Look at this front bar top that matches our bar over at the OG mm -hmm. spot. And it's uh, we got a little partition that we built over here on the side to keep uh, elbows off the table. This has moved in a little bit because they're going to tile. The front of this stoop, this walk, right here where Mercy and Hazel standing. We're gonna decorate this whole front edge up nicely with some brick look tile, and this will move out further outside uh, along this little partition here. So this is coming out. Of course, we're gonna have a new sign on the front of here, and we're gonna make a step. This step's a little high right here. <laughs> We're gonna make a lower step out of I'm that. I'm stuck. I can't go down. You can't go. Step. You can't go down anymore. I'm just stuck here now. This is my new home. Your new spot. So a little bit of work to do out here on this ledge on this first step, and decorate that up. But look at the paint job, guys. It's looking more and more like poppies every day. Look at the lighting. This is a. Uh, this is something new today. Now the they only have the back of the rope light going right now. But that'll, that'll continue all along, all the way around, once it's finished. And we got an artiste coming in in the next few days. We're going to do some murals on these walls. So we're almost ready for that, right, Drake? Yep, we're going to do them on Sunday. Sunday, working on a Sunday. And another, another cool little addition that we've decided to do, kind of last minute, Right here on this wall, can't see it too good with all this scaffolding in the way, but we have a little area here that was originally going to be planned to have more seating, but we've decided to build this in custom from floor to the top of this bar top, uh, drive, draft beer, craft beer and draft beer. So we're going to have, we're planning on having four uh, draft beer offerings right here along this wall. So that's going to be great. I've actually got some, uh, one of our beer vendor gentlemen, Steve, said he's got some Budweiser on draft. He's got some Stella Artois, which is a great beer. Hogarden is also available. Um, and some craft beers. And we do have our Crazy Carabao. We're going to add on to this that we already have at the other place, at the other uh, restaurant. And then we'll also have that here and a couple other choices so we're gonna have some nice craft beer offerings build that in right here that would be sweet better use of that space right Drake that is right Russell has some delicious fraps so that's coming but we got fraps coming too Bas basically the bar hadn't gotten started over here so we're gonna build this bar over here we have some ideas for that too and they're, this whole area, the front desk area of the Grand Central is also getting a makeover. We're getting rid of the texture and go ahead with the same look as the restaurant area all the way up through here. And we are going to build a nice bar area right here. Little island out here to help with the drink and frap making. So you said fraps. Fra frappuccinos. Frappuccinos. You like frappuccinos? Yeah. What are you? You wear your sunglasses at night. I wear my sunglasses. You know that song? I, by the way, I saw you in YouTube. You saw me? Yeah. Where? And uh, B B B. You're a good singer. You saw oh, him on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. You saw him doing that double double microphone. Yeah. 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 Who's that guy? Uh, Primos. He's handsome. The other one. The other one? Yeah. The More one. handsome than me? No, this what guy? The other one you can tell me. Who? Yeah. He's like the one you, yeah, in the YouTube. Oh, on the same video that was with us? Yes, yes. 
We didn't have anybody with us. I think you're watching a different video, girl. <laughs> no, that's you. I saw you see, see Sam. Right? He was singing, but oh, we, we, didn't have, yeah. we didn't have anybody named Philip with us. I but it's, it was, it was, he wasn't even on there. I'm going to look in the YouTube. You look and find out. Yes, and then, and then he was singing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, we, we're going to have fraps. Yeah. Uh, Mark is the king of fraps. He used to have a frap business in Manila, so he's got all these fraps. All these frap flavors ready to pop out. Yep. And so you news, like them? Yes. And the good news, girls, you only have to pay 50% more for the fraps. Yeah. 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 No, not this kind of more. 50 more. More. Yeah, we got to. Higher. You know, you share each other. Yeah. Talk, we still talk about fraps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got fraps coming in, um, all kinds of mixed drinks. We've got some ideas that's a little different here that we're going to do that nobody else has thought of, I hope. And if after we do it, maybe they'll copy it, I don't know. But hopefully they're great ideas that everybody will be uh, happy to come and, and see us here at Poppy's on the street. Poppy Street Eats, and also over on Don Wico in the Drake Hotel. You got to visit us for the original Poppy's location, of course, as well. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how you got to do it. Build it, and they will they'll feed them, and they will come. Feed them, and they will come. Cook it. Be a field of dreams. Field of dreams. This is Phil, Phil's Avenue of dreams. If you build it, they will come. That's right. Differently. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us on this update. We'll be uh, shoot, we'll be updating you again soon with some more changes. I know I got to show you guys this kitchen. That's that's next, and this bar coming in. You're you're gonna like that. And of course, this craft beer, craft draft beer tap that we're installing over here. We're looking at a couple of weeks possibly before we're ready to open. So everybody here in town that's watching this. Now you know. A couple weeks down the road, we should have it all set. Drake, what are you watching here? I am watching Kentucky and Vanderbilt here. I am rooting for the Kentucky Wildcats, go Big Blue. <laughs> here in the Philippines, uh, what are we, like, how many, what are we, 3,000 miles away? What, yeah, six, half seven, a world away, that's world. for sure. We're on the other side of the world watching uh, from Lexington, Kentucky, the Wildcats play. We got it on all the screens. All the screens. If you don't want to watch Kentucky today, it's too bad. Too bad. We, we got it happening. So Kentucky's playing Vanderbilt and they're behind a little bit right now. We're watching it live. Yeah, it's all right. We put it on all the screens today because we are Kentucky fans. Yeah. Now you're not a Louisville Cardinal fan by no means. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, no, anti, anti Louisville Cardinal. Big blue only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jay and Maria brought yeah. this pennant. Also a Kentucky flag, UK flag we're gonna hang up up here next to this uh, friendship flag. We're gonna scoot that over today, get that mounted up. Maybe we'll do that during the game. Yeah, maybe half time. Half time. <laughs> yep. So thank you, Jay and Maria, for bringing all the gifts, the, the flags, the Kentucky Wildcat stuff. Brought it to the Ohio plate. They're from Cincinnati, but they're, they're Kentucky fans yep. as well. So yeah, appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna try to find a spot at the new location on Walking Street from a smaller banner here, so I can represent Kentucky in both spots. Yeah, we'll throw it up on the Walking Street place. Yeah. All right. I'm nice. Excited. Let's see who's winning here. It's gonna be a close game. Hopefully, Kentucky pulls it off. I'm sure we will. Game update, Drake. Looks like Kentucky's taking off with it now. Yep. We found our rhythm, 81 to 65, got four minutes, 23 seconds left. Yeah, it looks like they're just running away with it at this point. Yeah, the uh, Vanderbilt has lost their steam. Lost their uh, gumption. They lost their mojo. <laughs> they need to get some more mojo, baby. Where's that mojo at? <laughs> they lost that mojo, but well, they are in Rupp Arena, so that's yeah. a little hard. Yeah. Hard to win in the home, home court, boys. They got them in Rupp. 84.65. What are you eating there, Drake? Oh, what's going on, Eric? 
little uh, little uh, b basketball breakfast. You know what? I, I'm just sitting here watching Kentucky play. Looks like we're getting ready to close this one out. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, go Big Blue. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Jay and his wife for bringing this uh, all the way from uh, Ohio. They're from Ohio, but I said bring me some uh, some Kentucky flags. But Eric, you caught me eating some home fries and. An omelet. What kind of omelet you got there? This is our three egg omelet. Yeah, this this but is. But it is stuffed. Yeah, it is stuffed. Let me peel this back so you can see all this goodness. Oh my my! Look at all that peppers, onions, ham, guys, cheese, sausage, sausage. This is that's the hangover omelet. This is the hangover omelet. So once uh, you all, you good Christian boys and girls, when you're done walking around Walking Street at night. And you need a, uh, a nice pick-me-up hangover omelet the next morning. This is it. That is it. This is it. That'll cure your hangover. This will cure your hangover. Uh, so I'm gonna looks take delicious. A big, I'm going to take a big bite of it here. A big, nice, healthy bite. Healthy bite. A healthy bite here with a bite of this toast that we provide. Mm. Mm. Hits the spot, don't it? Mm. Guys. Come on down to Poppy's Bar and Jill. <laughs> Forgive me for talking with my mouth full. Guys, come on down to Poppy's Bar and Chill. We have some of the best food in Angel City. We have breakfast all day long. So even if you had a wild night out, you wake up at two in the afternoon, three in the afternoon. You still get that hangover omelet. Still get the hangover omelet at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Come on in guys, here at the Drake Hotel. Anytime. Denny's don't have nothing on us. Yeah, Denny's ain't got nothing <laughs> on us, guys. Look at these home fries, too, guys. Oh, yeah. Home these fries are, are great. Home fries cooked with some seasoning and some little, little bit of onion in there. Oh, this is just like my mom used to make when I was growing up in Kentucky. Huh. Guys, this is, this is it. This it's is all the you taste need. of home right here, boys. It's all the protein you need. All the protein you need and then some. <laughs> Oh, there we That's go. It. That's it. 9377. That is it for that game. Yep. Kentucky took him over. Yep. Kentucky now is 22 and 8 for the season. Yep. They are ranked higher every game. Yep. Getting to the finals. Yep. We're 15 now. Maybe after that win we can uh, jump above Kansas. Oh, yeah. Kansas is ranked number 14. Well, hopefully we can go up be in the top 10. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue, baby. <laughs> Big shout out to my son Jeremy in the Kentucky. I like to watch the UK games and text him while we're while we're playing. He, sometimes he puts a little money on the team, so I root for the other team when he uh, if he's got a little bit of money on the game. But <laughs> that's just being me. So he's I'm, a winner today. Then. He's a winner today. I'm always really rooting for Kentucky, guys. Uh, but I just like to, uh, to uh, rip give, my son a little give bit. Give him a hard time. Give him a hard time. <laughs> well, guys, uh, peace out. Go be blue.